What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another video. This week we're in Bel Air and about to tour this newly constructed modern home right behind me. This house has eight bedrooms, 11 baths, 11,624 square feet of interior space, and currently on the market for $18,950,000. And we'll leave more information on the property down in the description. And before we get started, I wanna thank all the listing agents for allowing us to tour this amazing listing and share it with all of you. Now, let's begin. the street level you go through this gate right here and on my right hand side is where we have the telescoping gate that opens up to the driveway that leads us to the garage of this home tucked nicely underneath the home more on that later we have the staircase taking us up to the front entry of this home beautiful modern architecture smooth stucco finish floor to ceiling glass doors and windows and we have this beautiful glass entry right here now let's go inside All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. Beautiful glass door and window above, bringing all this natural light into the entry of this home. So this house consists of four levels. On the first floor, we have the entertainment area and the pool deck. Second floor is where we have the living room, dining room, kitchen, and two additional bedrooms. Third floor, we have two bedrooms plus the master suite. And lastly, on top floor, which is the fourth floor, is where we have the rooftop. So we have the two bedrooms on my left and right hand side. Why don't we start with this one? This bedroom is front facing bedroom and gets ton of natural light because of this corner glass detail right here and the slider that accesses to the balcony of this bedroom. Good size room and on this side is where we have the built in closets right here. Going this way is the bathroom for this bedroom. We have a frosted glass window here, bringing natural light in. Nice textured tile walls, floating vanity design with the fabricated countertops. And on this side, we have the walk-in shower here with a rain head and a handheld. Now getting out of this bathroom, let's go toward the other bedroom on the other side. This bedroom is currently staged as an office. Again, flooded with natural light, thanks to the corner glass detail right here another slider and a corner glass detail on this side. Pretty good size room, built-in closets on this side, and this one also gets a in-suite bathroom. Nice tile floors, sunken walk-in shower with a rain head, textured tiles on the walls, and we have the same floating vanity design with the fabricated countertops here as well. Now, going back to the hallway, let's continue our tour. On this side, we have the elevator access on this level. Going this way, staircase on my right hand side and this is where we have the formal dining room area of this home beautiful live edge walnut table here complemented with the chandelier right above right in the center and this section of the home is a little bit elevated from the family room and the formal living room area looking to this incredible view and this formal dining room area is complemented with the floor to ceiling glass doors and windows here and these doors pocket all the way into the wall open up this little patio where we have the skylights I'll show where those skylights are as we continue our tour. Again, beautiful formal dining room area. And once you have these doors opened up, it's essentially an outdoor dining area as well. Now, right here is where we have the powder for this level. Again, textured wall tiles, beautiful modern pedestal sink here, and they use the same hardwood floors also on the wall right here, carried out to create this modern detail. All right, now let's take the staircase to the lower level where we have the kitchen and the family room. We have a beautiful modern kitchen here. I love the contrast between the cabinetry and the quartzite dual island setup. And starting here is where we have the waterfall edge on the island design, perfectly book matched, bar seating area. And going this way, Cabinetry continues. This is where we have the main sink. Same countertop is also used as a backsplash. We have these glass upper cabinets 
nicely lit up underneath it. And going this way, this is where we have the second island. Plenty of storage on this side. And this island has one of those pop-up plugs. That looks really cool. Let's get that one more time. You got it. There you go. Pretty cool. Agreed. Now, we have the induction stove here with these pop-up vents. There you go. Which ones do you like more, overhead or these? I like these more. I don't like vents that are coming down from the ceiling level. Kind of clutters the space. Exactly, these look more sleek. There you have it. And we have the microwave set up right underneath here. Nice linear sink set up on this side. And behind me is where we have the 36 inch Thermador fridge and the freezer set up. Brand new. Brand new. All right, built-ins on this side and we have the exit storage pantry space right here. Now, we have an exterior door on this side and that leads us out to the outdoor kitchen. Right off the kitchen, which is great, very convenient. We have the same quartzite on this side. Also here, you get an additional sink, some open shelving, and this is where you have your gas barbecue area with a cooktop. I feel like this is a great space, nicely covered off of the kitchen, so it's very convenient. Yeah, I think I would probably use this more than the regular kitchen just so I wouldn't smell up my house when I was cooking. There you go, good point. Now, we have a sliding door opening up to the family room, which is right next to the kitchen here. We have a Venetian plaster wall here with a linear gas fireplace. TV is mounted on top, nice seating area. You get an additional seating area on this side and going down this way is where we have the formal living room area of this home. Floor to ceiling glass sliding doors, looking towards this incredible views of the mountains, lake, city, it's unbelievable. And we have a great formal living room area here, kind of two sections, plenty of seating, gets a lot of natural light. I mean, just the scale of this room is unbelievable. We have 16 foot high ceilings here. Again, floor to ceiling glass doors. And on this side is where we have a little corner where they place the piano. Just imagine sitting down there, playing piano and looking at this incredible view. I feel like I would be inspired all the time. Doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't. Now, the best way to experience this space is to open up all these glass doors and take advantage of that patio space and that view. All right, everyone, now we have all the glass sliding doors opened up. We can take a look at this incredible view. The scale of this room is unbelievable. And I wanna point out these sliding glass doors. They're 16 feet tall, and these were custom made specifically for this house. And as we go this way, this is where we have the outdoor dining area. This deck wraps around the whole living room. And as we step outside, it's nicely tiled. And on this wing is where we have the outdoor seating area, additional seating more tucked inside. You get a gas fire pit here. And again, this space is all about these incredible views. You get the mountains, you get the Stone Canyon Reservoir, you see the city. It's just such a different setting comparing to some of the homes that we see in Hollywood Hills. It's super refreshing, very tranquil. Another big selling point of this home is the fact that the land between the reservoir and the house itself is all owned by the city, which means in the future, no one will build in front of you and you will actually keep this view forever. I feel like most people wouldn't guess that a view like this exists in LA, but it does here in Bel Air. And I hope all of you are enjoying this video so far. And if you do, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, leave us a comment below. And now let's take the stairs so we can take a look at the third floor. All right, everyone, before we go up to the third floor, I wanted to briefly talk about the staircase design of this home. It's a steel staircase, open riser, beautiful modern design, and each step is a stone slab. And as we come up to the halfway landing, we can get a closer look at the steel frame of this home and this cross beam detail that we have right here. Looks beautiful, gets a lot of natural light thanks to the floor to ceiling glass windows right here and it just adds up to the modern architecture of this home. Is this, uh, is this cross beam just for looks or does it serve a purpose? It gives sheer strength to the house. So during an earthquake, when the house rocks side to side, this actually will lock the house in place and give stability to the home. And as we're coming up to the third floor, we have this beautiful chandelier starting here, going down all the way to the first floor of this home. 
Now, here we are at the landing of the third floor. Right hand side, we have the elevator, two bedrooms behind me, laundry room, and master bedroom on this side. Why don't we start this way? So this is the first bedroom we have on this level. Again, flooded with natural light, thanks to these corner glass details and a sliding glass door right here. Just like the first bedroom that we toured on the second floor, this one gets a sliding door and a balcony as well. They're actually identical to the first two bedrooms that we toured on the second floor. Going this way, this is where we have the ensuite bathroom, textured wall tiles, floating vanity design with the fabricated countertops. Lastly, we have the tub set up here, clad beautifully with this natural stone, and the same texture tile continues on top with a rain head and a handheld. Now, let's get out of this bathroom and go across to the other bedroom. This one downstairs was staged as an office, in here, staged as a bedroom. Again, gets a ton of natural light, gets a slider here opening up to the balcony, gets a corner glass detail, bed is situated on this side. We have the built-in closets right here. And going this way is the bathroom for this bedroom. We have tiles going to the sunken walk-in shower, rain head, handheld, and we get the floating vanity set up here again with the fabricated countertops. Now let's go back to the hallway so we can talk about the laundry room which is right here also the venetian plaster wall details also continue here as well and we're going to see them throughout the house and this is where we have the laundry room pretty straightforward you get your sink countertop plenty of storage and this is where you can put your stacked washer and dryer right here all right now before we tour the master bedroom we have this outer space right here with a water feature, let's show that real quick. And that's actually the round steel staircase that takes us up to the rooftop, or you can go there with the elevator if needed. Nice little outdoor seating area. And now let's talk about the most important bedroom in this house, master bedroom, come on in. As soon as you walk in, you're hit head on with these explosive views of the hillside, city of Los Angeles, and the reservoir. But before we talk more about the bedroom and the views, why don't we go this way where we have one of the two closets for the master bedroom. This one looks like a high-end boutique store. It looks unbelievable here. The symmetry, the lining, the hanger space, the drawers, everything about it. It's nicely paneled. I love the LED lighting on the hangers as well. It looks very exquisite and obviously great size walk-in closet. And Mikey, I don't know if you can see it, but right behind these glass wardrobes, we actually have a frosted glass on the bottom and a regular glass window on top, bringing natural light in through these glass doors, which is incredible. Yeah, it's really cool. And there's a lot of glass, a lot of like mirrors. It's like gives this room kind of, it makes it feel much bigger than it is. I agree, a lot of reflections, right? Yeah. But again, plenty of storage. We have the island setups here with these beautiful drawers and the hidden drawer right here, but you can see it from the top thanks to this glass top right here. And lastly, you get dressed up here, you put your jewelry, you wanna see yourself. Ooh, there you go. Very nice. Nice detail right there. They carried out the same Venetian plaster detail right here at the entry as well. And going across is the other walk-in closet. This one is a little bit smaller, but again, the same design layout is also here. Again, gets a glass back wall for natural light, gets the same hanger details drawers, open shelving, all that good stuff. Now, let's talk about this incredible master bedroom. This might be one of the best master bedrooms we have ever seen on this channel. Very spacious, we have the master bed situated on this side with a Venetian plaster back wall. And this is where we have the wet bar for the master bedroom. Some open shelving above, we have the sink set up here. Let's not forget, you get a small fridge as well. Now, this whole wing of the house is all sliding glass doors opening up to the incredible view and the patio space. And Mikey, do you think, are we missing something here? Are we missing something in the master? Yeah. I mean, what else could you need? So we have the seating area right there with a double-sided gas fireplace, TV is mounted there. Obviously you can watch your TV right there, but if you wanted to watch TV while you're in your bed and look at this incredible view, guess what? Right above us is oh. a drop down projector. How did I miss that? Yeah, it's a pretty cool detail. And also, 
This house is brand new, so it's not even plugged in yet, so it's not functioning right now, but I wanted to mention it because just imagine laying down on that bed, looking at this incredible view, watching TV like that. I'm living the dream. There you go, living the dream. Now, seating area for the master bedroom, like I mentioned, double-sided gas fireplace, TV is mounted on top. Again, the Venetian plaster details, and I feel like I'm not talking about the standard details, but obviously we have the built-in speakers, recessed lights, all the good stuff. Now, this is a double-sided gas fireplace because if we go this way, this is where we have the master bathroom. It's fully open and fully integrated to the master bedroom. We have the gas fireplace on this side, freestanding tub right here, looking towards this incredible view and the patio deck. And right here, we have the floating vanity setup, beautiful quartzite with these drop-in sinks with hidden drains, again, fabricated sinks, wall faucets. We have this textured wall, back tile, continuing all the way up to the ceiling. And Mikey, can we get a close up on that light fixture right there? I actually just noticed those. Those are really cool. Really unique, right? So those are hose bibs with an LED light at the end of them. I've never seen a unique light fixture like this, but uh, I wanted to make sure we covered that as well. It definitely gives some quirkiness to this house. Yeah, it's pretty creative. Now, before we talk about the walk-in shower, water closet number one, water closet number two, side by side. Now, let's talk about this walk-in shower. They use the same quartzite also here as a bench design on each side, nice linear drain, and the same floor tiles on the master bathroom continues into the walk-in shower. It's seamless with a very gentle slope, and this is where we have the drain. Obviously, it's a steam shower. We have two uh, rain heads here with handhelds, shampoo niche on the each side, even the ceiling is nicely tiled. And lastly, natural light, natural light. We even have a frosted glass right here with an awning window on top in case you need some ventilation. Now, we don't do justice to this bedroom unless we open up all these sliding glass doors and take a look at the incredible patio deck that the master bedroom has. Now, let's stack all these doors all the way till the end. That's a lot of doors right here but it's worth it for this incredible view. There you go. Mikey, can we get a close up to this track system that they have? It's insane. I mean, the amount of tracks there is because there are so many glass panels. Amazing, but it's worth it. It's worth it because of this incredible view. Now, before we talk more about the patio, why don't we go this way? This is where we have the master bathroom opening up to this patio, freestanding tub, incredible view. And this patio is nicely tiled. And on this side, we get a little bit of a seating area with a fire pit. Again, this house is all about the outdoors, this incredible view. I feel like we're gonna keep talking about the views, but I mean, come on, this looks like Lake Como, like part of Italy, or even Lake Tahoe. It's just so peaceful and tranquil. Lastly, I wanna talk about a standout detail that this home has that I personally really like. So this home is extremely private. Whether you're in the living room area, master bedroom, all you see is this incredible view. And it's thanks to that, terrace design that this home has. What I mean by that is, if you look at the exterior architecture of this home, we have patio decks off of each floor. And those patio decks serves as a roof for the floor below, which in return waterproofs that area, but also since it kicks out, it gives privacy to that level as well. So for example, we are on the third floor patio deck. And if you look down below, we can actually see the second floor deck as well as the first floor deck. But if you were at the first floor deck and looking above, you won't be able to see anything from the master bedroom. Again, it adds up to the privacy and adds to this terrace effect that this home has. And that's pretty much it for the third floor of this home. Now, why don't we take the stairs so we can tour the rooftop? All right, everyone, here we are on the fourth floor where we have the rooftop. This is a 2,000 square feet rooftop deck. And on my left-hand side is where we have the outdoor kitchen, sink setup, gas barbecue. And before we talk more about this outdoor deck, why don't we go this way? This is where we get the access for the elevator coming up to the fourth floor right here. I wanted to cover that as well. And now let's talk about this deck space. As if the third floor, second floor views were not enough, you even get a rooftop deck on this house, which is incredible. Outdoor dining area, plenty of seating. You get two gas fire pits. And from here, we get even more elevated views. What I mean by that is you can see all the hillside, all the way to St. Gabriel Mountains, 
Again, the reservoir bar view, city of LA views. So you can even get a peak of downtown LA views right there. And looking this way, you can get a small opening where you can see the San Fernando Valley. And lastly, if you elevate yourself a little bit, you even get a peak of ocean view from here. This has got to be one of the best rooftop decks we've ever toured on this channel. As if the outdoor spaces were not enough, you even get this incredible rooftop deck with the panoramic views. And we saved the best part of this house last, which is the first floor where we have the entertainment area and the pool. Let's go check that out next. Before we go down to the first floor, there's actually a room right here. Why don't we check it out? Currently staged as a game room. We have the poker table here, beautiful Chesterfield sofa, and Venetian plaster back wall. And remember, I told you all that I would show the skylight detail that we saw on the second floor off of the dining room. Well, there you have it. It's actually bringing all that natural light in to this specific room right here. Now, let's leave this room. Let's go back to the staircase and to the landing of the first floor. By the way, there are so many details in this house. I wanted to mention this as well. All the art staging in this house is done by creative art partners. Their taste is unbelievable. And all the art you guys saw throughout the house is provided by them. Now, landing of the first floor. Here we have the elevator access right here for the first floor. And this open space is currently staged as a gym area. Good size room, and thanks to these exterior doors, it actually gets natural light as well. And going this way is where we have the full bathroom, beautiful floor tiles. They actually use the same floor tiles in the walk-in shower as well, just smaller pieces. We get the rain head, handheld, and we have a really cool modern pedestal sink right here, off of your gym. Now, let's go back to the landing again, and we have another hallway, which is right here. Following this hallway is where we have the laundry room. Beautiful countertops. This is the main laundry room. So plenty of storage, base cabinets, upper cabinets. Continues here as well, you get your utility sink. And right there, Mikey, let's show that real quick. This is where you have your hookups for washer and dryer. Now, this hallway continues and this is where we have the staff quarters. Good size room, gets a lot of natural light. Bed is situated here. We have the built-in closets on this side. And this is where we have the bathroom for this room. Beautiful floor tiles. Again, same tiles are also used in the walk-in shower. Good size walk-in shower. You get a small sink. This bathroom is a little bit on the smaller side. And I want to talk about this detail right here. So we have these windows bringing natural light in. And we have a ladder here because this is, these are egress windows. Meaning, in case something happens and you need to get out of this room, well, you actually can. These push all the way out. And there you go, this is actually the driveway of this home. I wanted to make sure you guys get to see this. Do those stack or pocket, Dennis? They actually probably stack. Let me show it to you guys. We don't want to kill you now. Don't fall off of that. Well, my arm is getting a little tired, but since I'm up here, I hope everybody's enjoying this video. I want to make sure you guys saw every detail possible. And for that reason, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that like button, and uh, even hit the notification bell because we only post one video a week. Trust me, you don't want to miss the videos. Now. Let's go back to the hallway. And now, before we go this way, why don't we take these stairs? Because there's a room right here I wanna show it to you guys. Come on in. This is the garage of this home. Nicely polished concrete floors. I would say you can probably fit 67 cars here. You even have the Venetian plaster detail on this wall right here. In case in the future, we wanna put a TV up here, modems, anything, you have the connections. And, cool detail, they have this peekaboo window right here where you get to look at your living room area on the first floor, you see your infinity edge pool, even the view. I love this, it kind of turns the garage into like a possible hangout space. Or even your cars can get to enjoy this view. And let's continue our tour. Back to the landing. Now we're going, following this hallway. First room on the right hand side. Movie theater, come on in. We always love touring movie theaters on this channel. In this case, we have nicely elevated, comfortable seating here. 
acoustic panels on the each side of the walls for better sound insulation. Built-ins on this side right here, stairs, and even the bottom of the floors are nicely illuminated with this LED strip lighting. And let's not forget you got your 4K projector above. It's just a good size, comfortable movie theater. Now, let's go back to the hallway. Woo, it's bright. Now we're back at the hallway. We have the bar area on my left-hand side. Before we cover that, let's go this way. Powder room for the first floor. Check this sink out. How cool is this? Yeah, this thing is really cool. I saw this when we first got here. It's really interesting. Never seen anything like this. Super cool. This is where we have the faucet. You have the drain all the way down here. Talking about cool modern architecture. We have the texture walls. Same hose bib light fixture that we saw in the master bedroom. There you go. We have one right here. One thing is, how are you going to show them the sink and you're not going to turn it on? You got to turn that thing on. Sure. That's just satisfying to watch. It is, it is. All right, we have the same floor tiles also on the wall as well. Now let's go back out and let's cover this beautiful bar area that we have on this level, dual elevation. We have the beautiful quartzite here, black absolute granite. Again, we have these fancy plugs right here, countertop plugs, you gotta love these. And going this way, plenty of storage. These cabinets with glass fronts, bifolding doors, looks very sleek. You even have a glass backsplash here. You get your sink. Let's show all the details. You get a dishwasher. My personal favorite, you get an ice maker. Check this out. Gotta have it. And we have the wine fridge here. And before we leave this bar area, Mikey, can we get a pen up above us? That's the peekaboo window that we have from the garage looking to the incredible view. That's where it is. This beautiful lettered quartzite countertops. Again, the bar seating on this side. And right next to the bar is where we have the thousand bottle temperature controlled wine cellar. This is your wine tasting room, your display room. We have the beautiful chandelier right above us. And as we get out of the cellar, right next door is where we have a full bathroom and a cool surprise, sauna. Floating vanity design, fabricated countertops. And going this way is where we have the brand new sauna. Smells incredible. Yeah, it smells great. It smells great. And this way is where we have the walk-in shower. Mikey, can we get a close-up? You got your body sprays. So you got your steam outlets, your steam control, your handheld, your rain head. You got it all. Now, let's go back to the living room area. Now, right here is where we have the pool table, glass walls, and we have a set of glass stacking doors right here opening up to the pool deck. As we go this way, we have a seating area off of the bar, additional one right here. Again, scale of the room, even on the first floor, is unbelievable. Recessed lights, built-in speakers, we have it all. Same Venetian plaster details are also here. We have a double-sided gas fireplace, TV mounted above, and additional seating area even on this side. Just imagine throwing parties here, having people over, serving them drinks from your bar. It's just an unbelievable space. Yeah, and I think we have one last room to tour. We do, which is right here. Come on in. We have a full bathroom here, floating vanity design. Again, the texture, wall tiles continue here as well. Walk-in shower, rain head. A lot of bathrooms in this house. Now, we are not justifying this space unless we open up all these glass stacking doors and talk about the pool deck. So let's start with this one. This opens this section of the living room right here. Going this way, this is where we have the big boy. There you have it. Now we have the whole living room entertainment area opened up to the pool deck. I hope this video shows the scale of this home as we're walking around because it's incredible. These living room ceiling heights and as they flow into these outdoor decks are just unbelievable. It's such a cool property. And right here we have the 70 foot infinity edge pool. I just love the marriage of the infinity edge view with this hillside and the lake view that we have on the backdrop. We have the zero edge on this side, raised spa right here. And another cool detail, sunken seating area right here with a fire pit. Imagine at night that fire pit lit up, your pool lights are on, looking towards this incredible peaceful view. Now going this way, of course, they even put a Baja shelf for this pool. And 
That's the deep end of the house, so you can actually do the laps in the morning. And let's show the staircase real quick. In case you're throwing a party, you don't want people to go through your house and come straight to this level. And you can because you have a staircase coming down from the second floor of this house, which is the street level, all the way down here, so people can get a direct access. Now, you guys may think that's it for this property or this backyard, but it's not. We have the staircase right here, and let's go down. So this property is built on a hillside and a lot of times on the hillside properties you don't really get a backyard. You get a pool deck on caissons but in this case the developer took advantage of the slope of this property and he managed to put this flat pad right here which is a 3,000 square feet grass area right underneath the pool and since he has this wall right here he put this really cool water feature that it really complements the space and adds to the tranquility of this backyard. Going this way we have this 800 square feet elevated deck right here, kind of like your observation deck, which is again, just incredible, the amount of outdoor spaces that this property has. And as we come up here, we have the same glass railing. Look at these incredible views. You get even closer to the lake, the mountain views, San Gabriel Mountains on the back, it's just amazing. And from here, we can see the backside of the whole property. Again, we have all these four levels, beautiful modern architecture, Every single floor has floor to ceiling glass doors opening up to this unbelievable view. And that's pretty much it for the backyard of this home. Now, we won't be doing justice to a home like this unless we see this property at dusk. So why don't we fast forward a few hours and check it out then. All right, everyone, so it's 8.30 p.m. right now. I have the sun setting right behind me, and we're currently on the fourth floor, which is where we have the rooftop of this home. All the trees are lit up. We have the outdoor light fixtures turned on, and the view, again, looks incredible. And since we are around the reservoir and we don't have a lot of homes around us, it actually gets quite dark in front of us, but right behind that, we can actually see all the lights of the city. And I don't know why I waited this long to mention this, but this home right here might be one of the highest residential homes ever built in Bel Air because we're looking down on all the other homes around the surrounding area. On the third floor, we have the two bedrooms and the master bedroom suite. Master bedroom suite opens up to this, again, incredible view. That's gotta be one of the best master bedrooms we've ever toured on this channel. Second floor is where we have the living room, kitchen area, and dining room area all opened up to the incredible views and the patio deck on that level. Lastly, on the first floor, we have the entertainment section of this home, as well as that beautiful 70-foot infinity edge pool. At night, this home really comes to life, having these floor-to-ceiling glass doors opening up this incredible peaceful view with the city views on the back. It's just an incredible experience to see this place in person. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, leave us a comment below. If you'd like to see more mansion tours like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel and even turn the notification bell on. And lastly, before we end our tour, I wanna to thank all the listing agents for allowing us to tour this amazing property and share it with all of you. And we'll see you guys next week. Yeah.